Every four years, Family Circle Magazine has a cookie contest in honor of the presidential election. See, they have the spouses of each candidate submit their favorite cookie recipe, and their readers get to vote. Now, in 2000, Laura Bush's recipe for cowboy cookies beat out Tipper Gore's ginger snaps by a landslide, and this cookie became very popular. And today, Ashley's going to show us how to make them. All right, so these cookies are no joke. <laughs> Imagine, everything is bigger in Texas, right? So these cookies are large and in charge. <laughs> They're presidential. They are presidential. <laughs> so let's get started with the dry ingredients. Here I have one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Just gonna whisk this. All right, move on down over here. Now on to the wet ingredients. So here I have one and a half cups of light brown sugar, 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter, and this has been melted and cooled. This is one large egg plus one egg yolk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm just gonna whisk this until combined as well. So now I'm just gonna add the dry to the wet all at once and whisk this until just incorporated. All right, so that is just combined. So here we have one and a quarter cups of old fashioned rolled oats. Now you can use quick or instant oats, but just don't use the thick rolled oats. Gotcha. And then here we have one cup of toasted pecans, which I chopped coarse, one cup of sweetened shredded coconut, and two thirds of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now I just wanna get a spoon and eat this right now. <laughs> Using my rubber spatula, I'm just gonna combine this, fold everybody in together. So now let's get to portioning. Okay. I went ahead and sprayed this quarter cup measure with some vegetable oil spray. So this is a rimless baking sheet. Usually we use a rimmed baking sheet, but because they are so large, the cookies needed the room to expand as they baked. They're definitely gonna spread out quite a bit. In fact, we're gonna have eight cookies per sheet and we're gonna space them two and a half inches away from each other so that they have their room to grow. All right, here we have the last cookie. I am gonna take any remaining dough and just add it on to any of the cookies that look like they were a little bit skimpy. A little skimpy. All right, so the cookies are ready to go into the oven. Now, number one, I do wanna mention that we are gonna be pulling these when they look a little pale and raw in the center, but set around the edges. I'm gonna bake these cookies one sheet at a time. I have an oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake them for 15 to 17 minutes, rotating the sheet halfway through baking. They did get really big. Oh, yes. All right, so you can see it's a little pale and puffy in the center, mm -hmm. and the exterior is just beginning to set. Oh, yeah. So I am going to rely on carryover cooking for these cookies. I'm gonna leave them on the sheet for five minutes before taking them off. So now I'm just gonna take the second sheet to the oven, and again, 15 to 17 minutes, rotating the sheet halfway through baking. All right, so our first batch of cookies is all set for us on that platter. Mm -hmm. This is our second batch of cookies. It's been resting on the sheet for five minutes. Now see how different that looks. It's such a transformation that five minutes gives it when you cool them. All right, so I'm just gonna transfer the cookies to a wire rack and just let them cool completely. I mean, they're bigger than my palm. <laughs> all right, let's dig in. Oh, I love that when a cookie does that. Oh yeah. Means it's chewy on the inside. Mm -mm. All right, let's see how tender we got it. Mmm. That's tender. Mm-hmm. It has such flavor. Mm -hmm. It's the brown sugar. Mm. It almost has this caramely notes in the background, and you get a little chocolate, a little coconut, a little of those nuts. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. And the edges are nice and crisp, mm. so there's a real contrast between the center and the edge. Mm -hmm. I can see why these won the contest, for sure. Actually, these are great, thank you. You're welcome. So if you want to make these winning presidential cookies, start by mixing all the dry ingredients together in one bowl and all of the wet ingredients, including melted butter, in a separate bowl. Combine them together, then add oats, pecans, coconut, and chocolate chips. Using a quarter cup measure, portion out the dough onto a rimless baking sheet and bake them one tray at a time for just 15 minutes. From Cook's Country, an award-winning recipe for cowboy cookies. You know, I thought these cookies were big, but I'm almost ready for another. <laughs> Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make 
or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>